One character that I would have to say that I'm really looking forward to seeing in Star Wars Episode 9 and learning more about has got to be the character of Kylo Ren. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing is for certain is that both J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio will be evolving the character significantly for Kylo Ren, and I really do hope that that translates to making Kylo Ren a more intimidating character or a more Darth Vader-esque figure in Star Wars Episode IX now that he is the leader of the First Order, Supreme Leader Ren. Now, going into Episode IX, we do know that Adam Driver has been very busy, you know, filming this movie with J.J. JJ and crew over at Pinewood, Cardington, and quite possibly even Jordan as well. So Kylo Ren is really going to be a different character in comparison to the past two films, The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Now, recently in an interview with Vulture, all right, Adam Driver spoke out for the very first time involving Star Wars Episode IX, his experience as an actor, how he feels about the character of Kylo Ren in his point of view, and everything Star Wars and him as an actor. So this is what he had to say. Very interesting stuff for sure. Vulture actually asks this, I know fame and the subject of fame is not your favorite thing. So how did that distaste factor into your decision to be in Star Wars? You had to know that kick things into a higher gear. Adam Driver says no. Vulture says no. Adam Driver says, I was aware that more people would see it than see most things. I do, but I don't think I could have anticipated how often I'd get recognized because it's so different for every person. I'm very tall and I look a certain way. I can't blend into a crowd. Vulture says, what's interesting to you about playing Kylo Ren? Adam Driver says, that's hard to say because we are working towards something in particular with that character. I don't want to give anything away. Vulture states, it seems like it'd be fun to play around in that world. Adam Driver, yeah, the scale and size is interesting. Usually you work with people who are like, everybody save their cigarettes because we'll need them for the rest of the movie. But Star Wars has 4,000 people working on it. It's an entirely different process. Adam Driver goes on to say, I don't think of myself as an intense person. If what I'm doing is so abnormal that it's intense, stay focused on set, but it's not because I have a process that I'm imposing on everybody else. Sometimes you have to be more focused in between scenes because what's happening is that on something like Star Wars, it's pure comedy in between takes. It's stormtroopers running into walls because they can't see through their helmets. So I don't know where the intense thing came from. And that's what Adam Driver had to say to Vulture about his experience as an actor and dealing with the whole concept of him being recognized and Kylo Ren in Star Wars Episode Nine briefly. Now, what's really interesting to me is that you know Adam Driver is going to take the character of Kylo Ren in a totally new direction. We do know that Adam Driver is actually going to be working with J.J. Abrams very much heavily on set very closely with him because J.J. Abrams has a specific vision for the character of Kylo, and it's one reason as to why I believe that J.J. should have actually stuck around for Episode 8 in order to make the sequel trilogy more consistent, where there wouldn't be too many, you know, continuity differences in each movie. So looking at the character of Kylo Ren, what's really exciting to me is that J.J. Abrams is taking him in a totally different direction, and what Adam Driver had to say, of course he couldn't reveal details, but he did confirm that they are actually doing something in a particular way for the character of Kylo Ren. Now, we've been hearing about the concept of Raylo on and off. We've been hearing about the concept of a Ben Solo redemption. Maybe they're doing something around those lines. But me, specifically, I would like a more intimidating Kylo Ren, a character that our heroes can truly be afraid of and actually flee where he's actually going to be feared. That's what I want to see in episode 9. But anyways guys, I would love to hear your input below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.